Welcome to this week's Wednesdays in Prayer. We are giving God thanks once more for the opportunity for us to meet together for prayer and reflection. Our scripture reading comes from Philippians chapter 3, verses 12 through to 14. Not that I have already obtained all this, or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. The Word of the Lord. Two weeks ago, we began by looking at this passage as we asked ourselves the question, what should we do this year? And we started off by saying one of the first things we should do is to forget the past and secondly, to press forward. This week, we are going to be looking at focus on Christ. One may ask the question, press forward to what? As we would have seen Paul suggesting that's what we should do. Naturally, there may be a goal in mind, you say. Let's look at what Paul says in verse 14. Paul says, I press towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Whatever Paul did, his one aim was to do the work of Christ. What will you do this year? You should focus on Christ, letting him be Lord in your heart, home, and habits. You may have spent all of your life chasing after many dreams which have produced nothing. You may have new goals and aspirations for 2023, but they are all self-centered. Such dreams and plans may be commendable ones that may position you where you want to get in life. However, whatever you are planning, please do not exclude God from your life. Too often many of us plan for everything we need in life and ignore the one who gives and sustain life. We plan for family. We plan for career. We plan for travel and leisure. We plan for business, etc. We sometimes put all our efforts, resources, and finances in these things, and little or no time is given to the one who gives us daily life. While it is commendable to have our dreams and have been working towards them, I am recommending that adequate attention be given to your relationship with Christ. It does not profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul, says the word of God. Your life can't be centered on the material and physical things alone. You need to find time for the spiritual. Every person should seek to learn about God and what it means to have a relationship with him. This is not a call to join a group or a church. It is a call to have a relationship with God. It's a call for you getting to know him for yourself. It is a call to surrender your life to his will, to allow him to have his way in your life. Focusing on Christ is being able to say, Lord, your will be done. It is allowing him to guide you in your endeavors. So I close with the question I started with. What should you do this year? You should focus on Christ. I do not know all the things I will do, but this one thing I will do. I will forget the past, press forward, and focus on Christ. Amen. As we go to prayer today, I invite us to pray for homebound persons. Let us pray. Eternal God and our Father, thank you for another day where we can experience your goodness in our lives. We are always grateful for your providential care and continue to trust you in directing our lives. Each day we are reminded of the need to reflect on your grace, which is renewed daily. 
We are thankful for the persons you have placed in our lives who continue to be a source of support and inspiration for us. Our prayer is that we will always be the same to others. As we acknowledge these persons, Lord, we are truly grateful for those who played a vital role in many areas of our society and in our lives and are now homebound in their senior years. While all these persons do not have serious medical complications, their health limits their activities outside of the home. We also bring to you other homebound persons who need the help of others or the use of medical equipment to move around or leave home. Some of these are young persons, but due to an accident or illness, they are confined to home care. Father, whatever the situation, we come on their behalf and ask that you will continue to provide the care they need at this time. Thank you for the reassurance that you offer to them through others and that you are always there for them. We believe there may be some who have questions about their conditions and wonder if you have seen them. Lord, we pray that as they ask such honest questions, you will reveal your will for their lives to them. We are also mindful, Lord, that among this group of persons are some living in poverty that do not have the means by which they can receive proper health care. Merciful, loving, and caring God, we ask you to touch the hearts of others, including governments, private organizations, and individuals who can make a difference in these persons' lives to respond where they can. Thank you for charities, churches, and volunteers that have been doing their part in bringing cheer to these persons' lives. Continue to bless their endeavors, Lord. Thank you for family support where such is provided. Thank you for the caregivers who sometimes go beyond the call of duty to care for these persons. We also pray for the staff who work with those who are institutionalized, that you will continue to bless them with patience and love. Help us to offer what we can in bringing cheer to these persons. We bring them to you, Lord, and pray that they will see the need to be drawn close to you, to commit their lives to you, and to live their lives in honor and glory of your name. Hear our prayers. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks again, friends, for sharing with us today. My name is Oral Campbell. God bless you. Until next time.